Right. As you can see, it's got wintry up with us. Um, we've had a very, very interesting week. And I've got a job to do. And I'm on turf for... Assuming... Ah, she'll go. Ah. Come on, baby. This could be a longer video. Welcome to the weekend video. Ah, let's try this again. Come on, baby. Girl has no cold start, so. Yes. She will go. I've got faith in her. So what we're actually doing, um, Basically this week we've had a phenomenal amount of water come down. Um, it's flooded the local town, Northwich. Um, I spent uh, Thursday night, I think it was, on a job trying to uh, get water off. Uh, Thursday night trying to get water off a, a lane to try and get the flooding off a house. Go have a look around, see, see if it's actually doing anything. I'm not kidding when I say it's deep. System running now. Uh, it's a big, uh, big impeller type pump, and um, we're six inch. I think it's a six inch um, suction hose. You just see it there pulling there. And then we're sending it up the four inch pipe. That's not very much sat on the road. Heading off up to where uh, I'm assuming they found 
we've got a clear ditch up there somewhere we've managed to get into to try and drain all this lot off. So we're what? Uh, I think we think we've hit eight o'clock now. So all good fun. And more importantly, on Wednesday nights, my mates shed flooded which is where my top is stored, the top of wood pretty much underwater. So my plan is I'm trying to get her going so I can get my top up uh, want to get it all up here, it's really not the day to do it really, um, but I need to get um, uh, grease into all the bearings where the water's been sat so it doesn't wreck the bearings. I should have done it yesterday. I'm kicking myself for not doing it yesterday. Um, but it is what it is. Come on, girl. Oh, this may take a while. The big girl lives. Bit temperamental, but the big girl lives. And no, I haven't used any easy start. Yeah, like that. Um, oh. My mate's yard got pretty, pretty. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, um, compared to a lot of people, we did very well. But. Um, I do just want to sort out this topper. be lying if I didn't say I'm not regretting not doing this yesterday um, but I just I don't want to leave this topper any longer and risk damaging bearings oh girl seems to be running all right now we finally got her started It's smoky today, but it, 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 it is cold. <laughs> uh, what are these lot doing? Oop. No, she's sliding. We're getting a bit, uh, a bit closer to the mate's yard now. Um, doesn't seem quite so snowy down here. Um, but yeah, might as well pick this up now when we get down his yard and uh, see if me top is uh, submerged. So the yard does look a little bit uh, different now. Oh, he's got his 
Deutz out of the way. What are they? That's not handy. got her out the uh, mud from where she was sitting that usually is relatively dry weather's going a bit funny again but yeah basically my, my worry is because these bearings here were sat in the water and also these main, main dry bearings I mean the water level was about here somewhere so my concern is watering those bearings so what I'm going to do now I'm going to go around, grease everything up, then run ev everything up. That hopefully push the grease, push the water out if any water is sat in there. And then we'll do a second grease in order to uh, just ensure that everything's got nice fresh grease in it. So, oh. that one's going to be. I'm not sure is it. The end's overly good on this grease gun. The main bearing's taking it. That's that's the main concern. pretty good to be fair so I just want to say well put a big shout to um, the local farming lads that have gone into Northwich and gone in there with their umbilical pumps slurry tankers and all that lot to try and uh, get rid of this flooding uh, there is a couple of my I mates on the job you know they have put in monumental hours and huge effort to try and sort that lot out so you know I have seen a bit of flack about, about it about oh um, basically people trying to say that farmers were umping sewage and that which that's a shame that must really hurt them lads to put that effort in and have people sort of trying to say hey they're doing a bad thing so but yeah I'm gonna say it personally and you know huge huge respect to the M lads that have been out, out there because the weather's not been nice it's not been the sort of weather for going out oh you see water coming out of that one yeah that one definitely wanted doing uh, where's that one in there that one is a right awkward little sod. I'm going to have to put camera down for that one. Right, so that's everything greased up. Just give that roller a bit of a spin. Get her going. Right. Let me just pack some fresh grease in there now. Fresh grease pouring out of there now. Whoop. 
There's the end of the crease. Let's see if we can get it something like on it. So we don't just yeah, grease everywhere. That bearing seems pretty good. That's the brand new bearing we put on last year. So yeah, that seems a bloody good bearing that. Right. Fire up, I'm just gonna let her run gently and I'm gonna pack some fresh grease in while she's running. bearings now Ooh. I didn't know that the grease nipple spins right well in that case we'll just let it run then just let any of that trapping that get out of it and then we'll put fresh grease in right so she's had a good run up now um i was thinking of greasing these nipples while it was running but i didn't realize those nipples actually turn so we'll just uh put a bit of fresh grease in here now Hopefully that will have dried it, driven out any any moisture that was sat in them and bearings. Oh, oh. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, there we go. That's him. Right, so my only concern now is what it's going to be like when I get back up to the yard because it was looking a bit grim up there. I'm hoping that it'll be alright and we can uh, quietly puddle up there and then we can puddle home. Right, so that's us hooked up, creased up, sorted out, and now we just need to get back home. So we're on our way back now with the topper. Um, can't help but notice that uh, the weather seems to be getting a little bit worse the closer I get back to the yard, which I was hoping it was going to clear up a bit. But as I say, like I said at the start of the video, this is not a job I really wanted to do today, but I just, I was nervous about leaving it any longer. So it did a bit more pleasant on the way back because um, when the guy done the repairs he turned the tap off that sends the hot water up into the cab for the heater which I didn't know about and I had no tools with me so I had no way of turning it back on. I found a pair of pliers and turned it on, on uh, down on my mate's yard so that the cab's relatively comfortable now come to Munloff as you can probably tell to have the sunroof open and the heater on I know it's just I love driving her with the sunroof open and listening to her so we'll get a bit close to the yard and uh, hopefully the weather's not got too bad oh I'm nearly back on the yard oh. as you can see it's it's um it's a little worse up here and we've got a little bit further up to go yet she looks pretty it's even fair covering the topper right last push get up to the yard mainly because it's crap out here oh, it's nice and warm in here even with the sunroof open, it's still nice and warm in here. 
Well, if nothing else, it looks pretty. So this is just very nearly back to the yard now. I have seen a pedestrian down here somewhere. Where is he? Uh, he's on that side of the road. Uh, we haven't got any traffic coming, so that'll do. Roads are a lot, lot better than when on the way out, so that is a definite good thing because I hopefully admit getting up to the yard was a little bit of a struggle. Because um, my pickup, well, those four wheel drive pickup, the uh, front prop is sat on my workbench still, which is nobly handy. Well, I'm coming anyway, Mom. gentle up here, here say don't really want to meet somebody uh, in the middle of losing control feel the tractor just slipping a bit We're nearly there, we made it, all seems good. Back safe and sound. And the old girl did good as usual. Right, better just go put my mate's tractor back in now and then I'm gonna go home and hide in the house, I think. So that's it. End of the video. Mate's mate's Renault's back in. Big Ford's back where she should be. And the topper's uh, out of the water and out my mate's way, eventually. So, yeah, I say I hope you guys have enjoyed this bit of a video. Don't forget, grab your thumbs up if you have enjoyed the video. Comments are always welcome. Don't forget to go have a look down in the description at the shop, which you saw at the start of the video, if there's anything there that takes your fancy, or if you just want to have a browse of it. So, that's it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to try and uh, get myself home now. <laughs>